now we will see about this programmatic navigation what is this one is for example let's say that when i am clicking on this link so we are able to move from one page to another page right so when i am clicking on the about page so manually you are clicking on this page about link which has a router link so at that router link we are having we are giving that using a to attribute so that it needs to go to the about page but if you want to move it programmatically from one page to another page programmatically means through the javascript if i want to move it how can we move let's try to see it for example let's say that in the home page i am having here a link so do i am having a button okay yeah i am having a button let's try say that button go to post page okay so let's say that this one is a button so this one is a not anchor link if it is an anchor link means you can add router hyphen link two is equal to two is equal to slash about you will use it right so we can use it like this so if i try to see the output home page so if i click here it will go to the not about, about page post page i have written it one okay so about page it will go to the about page but if you are having instead of a router link you are having a button let's say that i am having a button so this button now when i click on this button let's go to, if i click on this button it needs to go to the about page so but this time this button is not going why because this bus this button doesn't do anything by default so it needs to be handled logically through the javascript so let's try to have something like at the rate click here not prevent on about click okay i'm having a method so let's go to the here and here i'm using a methods on about click so here i can write so i told you right this router this router variable so what i what i what I was, this router variable so this one is available globally so now in order to access this router so how we can access this one is using this dot dollar router okay dot push you will be having these all the methods you'll try to see these all methods one by one so we will be having one method that is nothing but a push so push so where i need to move it so slash about okay so push means slash about now if i try to click on this one so if i go here click here see it has moved to the about page if i click my back here i am able to get to go to the home page so this is how we can move it so now this is nothing but so in the template if you want to use the to navigate means we need to use the router link in the programmatic in the javascript if you want to move from one page to another page means you need to use the router dot push so these both are one and the same only but in the template we are using it here in the programmatic we are using it here so these are all the different ways how we can assign it so we can directly use it like this or otherwise you can give it path something like that we'll be able we'll see about the name root roots when we are learn about the name root roots we'll try to discuss this one all params is also we'll discuss about this one all query query so these are all query id so for example let's say that here if i try to give <coughs> something like this path so it needs to go slash about and if i try to give query so here i can give id comma one something like this means so now if i go from one page to another page here we are in the home page if i click here what happened to this one if i click on this one see i'm able to see about question mark id is equal to one so slash about we got it question mark id is equal to one also we are able to append it so these are query parameters and hash also we can add it like this so these are all the different ways how we can use this router dot push apart from this one so we also have router dot replace also so router dot replace also is one and the same only it will do one and the same only but what it will try to do is it will not save it in the browser history okay replace will not save it in the browser history for example let's say that uh, let's say that i am having i am in the home i have clicked on the about okay so now i want to go back to the home here if i click on the back i am able to go back to the home for example i am in the contact i am in the home or otherwise we'll let's try to add it in the contact so that you'll be able to understand it very easily so same contact in the home let's try to paste it here in the contact also i will try to paste it here but this one is a contact page let's see i will try to show you so now this one we are in the contact page if i click on this one so now I, if i click back i will go to the contact page again why because it, remember, it remembers in the browser history 
but when you try to use this uh, push means it will push it into the browser history stack but when you use this replace now see what will happen i have refreshed this page i am in the contact okay i will click on the about it went to the about if i click on back again it went to the home page see the contact it doesn't it doesn't remember the contact thing why because previously it was in the contact but when you use the push it remembers these all the things but when you use the replace it will not remember for example if i click on the about here it went to the about but it remembers from where it has been came so if i click on the back here it went to the home but whereas in the contact i click on the about but now when i click on the back again it will not go to the contact it will go to again somewhere home see so like this it will be actually but when i use the push here but when i use the push here see now what will happen if i go to the contact let's refresh it so i went to the contact i went to the about if i click on back again it went to the contact why because now it remembers the browser history so push means it will save into the browser history it will it will add it one by one in the stack whereas the replace means it will replace these all the things so that is the thing you need to understand it uh, programmatic navigation when we need to use the push when we need to use the replace means that depends on the requirements so go one go minus one means so one step backward one step forward so these things will not use more often so we can use it uh, history manipulation that's it these are all about the programmatic navigation these are all the different types of programmatic navigation go of one go of minus one means so what i can say is uh, where is this one gone yeah here we are having right if i am clicking on this one is my minus one minus one like this we are going it right so minus one minus two means two steps it will go forward means like this it will go forward so these browser forwards and backward it depends on this one so that is nothing but go minus one go one go two like that this is all about the programmatic navigation in the Vue.js.